aren't there any more stories left to be told? There are plenty more. But have you ever thought about why would a hermit need me and why he chose just you? Well, he needs you for some ritual that will increase his spiritual powers and bring affluence to my kingdom. Oh, is it? <laughs> Vikram, you don't know anything. He needs me not to increase his spiritual powers, but his occult powers. He practices occult magic. All right, all right, forget it. Why don't you just tell me another story? You won't believe me now, but soon you will. Perhaps the right time to tell you everything is not now. Anyway, let me tell you another story. Once upon a time on the island of Bali, there lived two merchants, Ratan and Madan. They were partners and very good friends. <laughs> Today was a nice day. The business was good too. Yes, uh, not only was the business good, we met some interesting characters too. Uh, remember that fat man with the tiny moustache? <laughs> I first thought there was a fly sitting below his nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 oh. don't make me laugh. My stomach is aching. Oh, oh, oh. Let's sit for a while. <laughs> Let's count how much money we made today. Then we'll share it equally. Right? Right. But first have some bread and honey. I know you must be hungry. Oh yes, I'm actually very hungry. Are there robbers in this forest? Yes, they killed my husband and I'm left alone now with no money. Oh God, we are sorry for your husband. Now, what are you going to do? Do you have some place to go? I, I mean to your parents or your in-laws? No, I am an orphan. We were just married, so I don't have anybody in this world now. Don't worry, we'll help you. How can we help her? Well, we can give her some money. But where will she go? She has no place to go to. And we can't take her with us too. Unless... Unless what? Unless one of us marries her. But who will marry her? And will she agree to it? Let's ask her. Look, uh... Look, uh... We genuinely want to help you. But we can't take you with us unless... Uh, uh, unless... Madam, you, you tell her. Since you have no place to go and uh, you have all your life ahead of you, we suggest you remarry. Remarry? But who would marry me? We, I mean one of us. I'll write our names on two chits of paper and shuffle them. You can pick up a chit and whosoever's name is on it will marry you. It had Madan's name, so the woman married Madan. A year later, the woman gave birth to a beautiful son. Madan was very happy, but soon after the baby's birth, Madan died. The woman after Madan's death went to Ratan and asked for a share in his property, which Ratan refused. Ah! 
the woman went to the king's court to appeal. King, after listening to the whole case, gave his judgment. Now tell me, Vikram, was the woman justified in her demand? And what did the king decide? Madan and Ratan were partners when they met the woman, and they agreed to let the woman choose one of them for marriage. Thus, it means she had equal right on both of them. So, she was justified in her demand and the king also gave the same judgment. You are right, Vikram. But don't tighten your grip. I will not escape now. We have almost reached. But I am warning you again against the hermit. He is a wicked person. Be careful. If he asks you to bend before the sacrificial fire, he will sacrifice you too to increase his demonical powers. King Vikram while I chant the mantra. It will bring prosperity to your kingdom. How could you forget me so fast? This is my real body. The hermit was my elder brother. He turned me into a demon as I was against his practice of a cult. You saved my life by warning me against the wicked hermit. Come with me to my kingdom. I'll make you a minister in my court. I'm ready to come with you, King Vikram. But only on one condition. I promise. I'll listen to your story without uttering a word. <laughs> 